Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. So the question today is, what is the most valuable thing you can leave to the next generation? And, and the generation after that, what is, what is the most valuable, most important thing that you can leave and, and give from generation to generation that will, that will help them, that give them a, a, a leg up, as, as it were, as, as they move forward in life? What's the most valuable thing we could do? You know, in today's world, there's, there's talk about generational wealth and, and the desire to leave, um, you know, insurance policies, stocks, bonds, real estate, other things to, to uh, for our, our children and our grandchildren, that, that it would give them an, uh, a leg up, an advantage in, in the world they live in and help them move forward. Well, you know, we've been working through Hebrews chapter 11 over the last few weeks, looking at the heroes of faith. And I think I found the answer um, to, to that very question about the most valuable thing here. And so we are down in Hebrews 11 to verse 20. I want to read just a few verses for you here. It says, By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons and worshipped as he leaned on the top of his staff. By faith Joseph, when he, his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instructions about his bones. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child, and they were not afraid of the king's edict. And so in those, in those verses, what we find out and what we see in each case is a sharing of faith. A, a, a sharing of trust and belief in God and, and in, in his, his promises to us a sharing from generation to generation of of the blessings that God has poured out upon their life and they they they've shared that with future generations and they're praying for those future generations they're sharing their faith because you know it all our kids our grandkids are going to all go through some different things in life ups and downs it, it it's going to happen in this world the most important thing we can share with them is our faith. How, how do they know the value of our faith? Well, they know the value of our faith if they've seen it in action. If they've seen how we react in difficult situations, have, you, have we reacted with, with faith, trust in God? Or has it been panic, pull my hair out, oh no, oh no, oh no, the sky is falling? Or to trust in God through those situations? Is it committing to prayer? And is it making, making our relationship with Jesus Christ a priority? Do they see us reading our Bible and sharing the stories about the Bible, sharing what God has done in our lives? That is the most valuable thing we can give to our kids and to our grandkids. And, and for generations to come, the most valuable thing we can share with them is our faith. The, let them see the importance of our faith in God, of our trust in Him through, through difficult times. Let them, let them see our faith as we give thanks in, in times um, of, our, of our life. Let them see the importance of our relationship to Jesus Christ because those things aren't only valuable for today. They're valuable forever. So be sure you're giving your kids the most valuable thing that you have. Have a great day.